there are the wealthy people, there are the kind of, for lack of a better word, the, the high maintenance people, but mostly it's just everyday people. I have women in the military, I have styled uh, marketing managers, PR people, teachers, construction workers, students, at home moms, but not the fancy at home moms, just regular ones. <laughs> um, so every, anyone and everyone who's actually looked at themselves and thought, I'm not happy, I don't really know how to do this. I'm good at other things, I'm not good at this, I'm gonna bring in a professional. The process is the same uh, for anyone from the, the budgeters to the, to the no budget, to the endless. Uh, because everyone that comes to me really needs help. There are those that come with something in mind, and that's why I mostly do more of just like little personal shopping. Like, I have this style, make that happen for me, I don't have the time. That does happen for sure. But most people come to me like, I'm a mess, help me, I don't, I'm not happy, I don't, I hate my closet, burn it all. And I'm like, all right, we don't burn it though, we donate it. Uh, and we start with the closet purge, we get rid of, I'm sorry, we start with the consultation. The consultation is where I find out what's wrong, what's the problem, what are they doing, what's their lifestyle. Uh, that's where I find out the budget. That's where I find out what we're going to do. If they're on a low budget, we focus on maybe five new full looks. If there's not a budget, then we overhaul. We get rid of everything that is not working, and we go shopping, and we shop for what are they missing? Do they have too many jeans? No more jeans. We do skirts. We do dresses. If it's men, they're wearing khakis too much. We're going to bring in, you know, the dressy chino. We're going to bring in, you know, dark wash jeans they've never seen before. Uh, and then everything's very efficient. It's like a list. What are you missing? This is what we get. It's not just shopping. Like, oh, we're going shopping. No, we're dressing them for their job. Or if they work for themselves, we're dressing them for their working from home. Because you don't want to wear sweats when you're working from home. It makes you feel sloppy. And, it work, and we dress them for the evening. Cocktail parties or just dinner or their local pub or maybe they just watch TV. People should find a stylist that works for them their personal style, for instance, if they are on a budget and they go to a stylist that is used to maybe wealthier clients or someone who's really stuck in their brands, I call them like designer MV or something, um, they shouldn't go to that kind of stylist because they're going to bust their budget and they're not going to know how to shop on a budget. Also too, you have to feel comfortable. These people are going to be half naked. I, my clients are half naked in front of me all the time and they're comfortable with me. I make them comfortable. They might not be comfortable with perhaps a male stylist or if it's a woman or even a man may not be comfortable with a male stylist. Um, you need to ask questions about the process. Mine's a very efficient process. Obviously it can be more fun if the client's like, oh I don't really care about money, but mostly mine's, we don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste their time or my time. and we. We get it done. We get it done quickly. Some people may not work as efficiently, and some people may not know how to dress your body type. You should always ask, you know, are you used to, for instance, I have a lot of plus size clients. They need to ask, are you, do you usually dress a size 16, size 20? And not, not a lot of stylists have.